Hi there, my name is Fred Carnawet. Today we are going to look at how to set up a Tactic 650 transmitter and TR624 receiver with electric power. Uh, one of the confusing things can be how to plug everything in where everything goes. Let's start off with the transmitter. Now the transmitter has one feature that's worth understanding. If you go into servo setting, you will find that channel 3, which is the throttle channel, that is set to reverse. And that is important because I have idle here and full power here, and so that's where I need to have mine with my speed control. And also what's important is the fact that I have 100% on the on the on the throws. If it's not set at 100% in reverse, my system doesn't work with the Hobby Lobby ERC 45 amp speed control. Okay. So now we have the basic components. We have a transmitter, receiver, speed control, battery, motor. Now I'm assuming that these speed controls work with BEC, battery eliminator circuit, which means you don't need a separate battery to power the receiver. <coughs> so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire from the speed control and plug it in to the channel 3 on the receiver. Now you don't have to have a servo extension you can plug directly into the receiver if you want. Turn the transmitter on first, then you plug the motor in with the, with the bullet connectors. If the motor goes the wrong direction, take any two of them, doesn't matter which two, and just swap them and the motor will spin a different direction depending upon what prop you have, pusher or tractor. Okay, now the transmitter's on, it's set to idle. Now we're going to take a battery. We're going to plug that in. Okay, now it's up and running. If I take the trim, this guy here, it's set right at the mid-range. So if I move the trim up, the motor starts. Notice the idle stick is still back here at idle. Full power, idle. But it's still idling. But I want to shut it off, so I take the trim, bring it back to mid-range, and the motor is stopped. The system is still armed. So you want to unplug the battery first, turn off the transmitter, second. The transmitter is the first thing turned on and the last thing turned off. Okay, now let's say you want to do multi-engine. You cannot power the receiver with two BEC receive, uh, speed controls. So only one speed, con speed control can do the BEC function. So we're going to take a Y harness and it's a, simply, it, it's a um, two servo extensions soldered together that goes out to two connectors. This one has had the red wire cut, so the BEC will not function with the red wire cut. So I plug this into my receiver. This one goes, one goes one of your speed controls is the master, means it feeds power to the receiver. The other one just, it gets the signal, but it's not feeding power. Plug in your motor. Okay, so we got our speed controls plugged in to the Y harness. 
One of them has BEC deactivated by cutting the red wire. Turn on our transmitter first. That's a throttle cut, and that's a function that's within the tactic radio that's worth learning. Um, transmitter's on. That is at idle. I'm going to plug in the battery that is not BEC first. Notice it doesn't arm. Now I plug in. The only reason I can hang on to these with my hand is because there's no propeller. Now why they start up at different times, I don't know. They should start up at the same time. Same deal. They both operate. They have their own battery, their own speed control, but they operate off the same channel. So you come back. Okay, now it's still armed. So I'm going to unplug the one that does the BEC. And that. So now this system is disarmed. I turn the transmitter off. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay,